Now let's look at the diagram and understand exactly how this architecture looks in practice. On the top of the diagram you will see client apps. This could be a mobile app, a web application, a desktop app or even another backend system. In a microservices architecture, clients do not directly call each microservice. Instead, all requests first go through a component called the API Gateway. The API Gateway is the entry point to the entire microservices ecosystem. It acts like a traffic controller. It decides where each request should go. It handles authentication, rate limiting, logging, and sometimes even caching. So in the diagram you see arrows from the client apps going directly into the API gateway. Now look at the section below the gateway. You see multiple small icons, each representing a microservice. One might be a catalog service that shows available products. Another might be a voice search service. Another might be a tag or category service. And another could be a cart or checkout service. Each microservice does only one job but it does that job extremely well. The API gateway forwards the incoming request to the correct microservice based on the endpoint. For example, a user opens the app and taps on products. That request arrives at the API gateway. The gateway forwards it to the catalog service. If the user performs a voice search, the gateway routes the request to the voice service. If the user views product categories, the gateway calls the tag service. And when the user adds something to the cart, the gateway routes that action to the cart service. Every microservice in this diagram has a separate database. This is extremely important. Each microservice owns its own data. It does not depend on a global shared database. If one service needs to scale, you scale only that service. If one service needs a schema change, you apply changes to only that service. And if one service fails due to heavy load or a bug, the remaining services continue working. This is how microservices achieve high reliability and fault isolation. So to wrap it up, microservices architecture breaks an application into small focused services that communicate through an API gateway. Each service is independent. Each service can be deployed and scaled separately. And each service has its own database. This makes systems easier to maintain, faster to update, and far more scalable than traditional monolithic architectures.